back. Or yeah. Kids, kids, look, kids are sometimes a little slower coming off break, right? You're, you're right. Um, probably don't have uh, the blood, you know, pumping through their muscles and uh, through the heart and everything as, as much over the last nine days. Um, but they got a little workout in yesterday to get them going, and uh, I thought we responded well. You know, uh, a lot of short yardage backed up, goal line, things like that today. So I thought they did a good job. I saw Brandon Winder go by. Uh, something, how's he doing? Yeah, he's got a little knee. Um, we'll hold him out here for uh, a little while and see. Uh, doesn't, it's not going to require surgery or anything, but we'll see uh, You know what his status is. But he'll be out for a little bit here. Briscoe's move to offense, I guess, what Correct. precipitated that? Well, I just think he's, uh, I think there's a need there, and I think, uh, you know, he's got the perfect body type for it, and uh, very pleased in his in his attitude uh, and his approach, you know, to going over there, and hopefully he'll, he'll, he'll really help us out to pay dividends for us. I think he will. Which positions is he working Guard. on? Guard. Yep. Uh, Eddie Johnson, is, what's his status right now? Well, he's, I mean, uh, he, you know, he's not enrolled right now, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what transpires in the future for him. I, I really have no idea. Uh, we're not really discussing it at this moment. There's a punter 88. I noticed it seemed like he was really booming it. Have any of those guys? Have you had a chance to sort of see them? And yeah, no. I think some of those guys are competing. Uh, we're not quite, uh, you know, to the point where we're we're incorporating that into the practice, but we will here shortly. Uh, in fact, maybe even Thursday. So. Uh, we'll start giving them a little pressure and, and uh, see who can respond. But uh, we get that uh, most of that stuff done before practice right now, but we'll start incorporating it into the practice. How's both Sam Lundluck, these practices? He's doing good. You know, he's just got to uh, got to get a little bit more comfortable with his in-line blocking, you know, on the line of scrimmage. Uh, but he's, he's willing. Uh, just not skilled there yet, his toolbox. But uh, he's a big man. He's got uh, very soft hands. He's smart, and he can get down the field. So, have you noticed the addition with him and Standish pushing, really pushing into something? Oh, I don't think there's any question. Uh, Jake O'Donnell too. They're, they're, uh, Jake has uh, his previous two practices were really good. So, there's a good uh, nucleus of guys that are pushing, and uh, obviously Asante uh, and Clive have really responded to this point. You've been texting Coach Larinaga a little bit. Congratulations and stuff like that, or you know? well, yeah, I mean, but. I mean, um, does that he says you guys help him? You know, does does he help you guys a little bit recruiting and things like that? Yeah, I mean, uh, you, to think that anybody thinks that you know Friday at whatever time that game on doesn't help the University of Miami and our brand uh, is foolish. So uh, he helps us a ton. Uh, the the energy uh, that the students and uh, the fans. And our alums provided in these home basketball games has been phenomenal, and uh, I think it's it's why we're off to a fast start in recruiting. Now with the, with Duke Johnson a year older, and yeah. Do you have to manage his carries less? Like, can you give him the ball? You think more per game next year? You feel comfortable? Yeah, no, we have to. Uh, we have to increase his touches. Um, again, he's you got to be careful because you can overload him uh, in terms of the skill set that he has. Meaning he can he can return kicks, punts catch the ball to the backfield, align as a receiver, and do the, the jobs of a running back. So you got to be careful that you don't overload him. But our job is to get his touches up. And really, in the spring, we'll probably just keep his touches, you know, I don't want to say to a minimum, but to a very comfortable number because we want to see what Dallas and, uh, and Danny uh, can do. And, and uh, both of them had very, very productive days today, so I was happy about that. Anybody surprising you this spring? Oh, uh, there's a whole lot. You know, that's really, uh, Mike, that, that's a good question, maybe Thursday, so I have some time to really think about it, you know, but uh, because I would leave somebody out right now. But uh, Sante Cleveland, I think, has had a has had a great, uh, you know, spring. Uh, Wheeler's had a great spring. You know, I'm going to leave guys out, but uh, there's been a lot of guys that have really stepped up uh, and, and have made a lot of progress. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how they develop uh, in practice scrimmage on Saturday.